Hey there everyone, this is Michael Dougal and during this video I'm going to do a product review on Sistanch Tubulosa. I've used this supplement for three months now, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed, but what's interesting is that I started using this supplement with the expectation that it would increase my testosterone levels. However, um, it didn't really do that, but a neat benefit that I had instead, which would probably make me buy this product again, is that this really helped to reduce stress levels. I found myself uh, overthinking a lot less, just uh, no procrastination. So Sustanch, sure, it's marketed to be a supplement that could help to improve your testosterone levels, and that's why most people probably buy it. But what you should also know is that it does have uh, properties that will surely help your work ethic, whether you're somebody who's looking to make more money, uh, somebody who's uh, maybe perhaps you're student, you're looking to achieve better grades. This is a great supplement for productivity. Like my discipline is up, my thinking is better. You'll know that Sustanch is working because you'll find that uh, it's easier to make like quick decisions. You know, they say successful people are very good at making decisions very quickly and they're accepting of the fact that they may make wrong decisions, but they can still move forward accordingly and understand that those wrong decisions are just helpful feedback. With Sustanch, you're in momentum with work. It's really good for productivity. The owner of Nootropics Depot, as you can see on this post over here, actually said that it really helps round out stimulating substances for me. I'm noticeably more anxious and edgy on days I don't take it. See, the latter part, I don't necessarily agree with. I'm not like uh, overly anxious or edgy uh, on days when I don't take it. So this is the particular product that I'm using here. It's called Sustanch Tubulosa Powder. This is 30 grams from Nootropics Depot. So what Nootropics Depot did right with this product is they standardized it in order for the product to be a highly potent version that does contain high amounts of the two bioactive components, which are acetocides at 15% and econocide at 50%. Here we're getting the benefits, whereas uh, most Sustanch products on the market, we don't know what we're taking, we don't know the concentration. Its nickname is actually Desert Ginseng or Desert Plant. It's real interesting and like it actually grows in very dry and you can say warm areas. And it really just sounds like super interesting. When you look on the map, where exactly is Sustanch grown? The, the majority of it is grown in a province in China called uh, Taklamakan or the Taklamakan Desert. I'm looking at the Sustanch benefits listed on Nootropics Depot. There's four of them specifically. First, may help promote healthy testosterone levels. That really has not been my experience whatsoever. Guys, there are so many damn nootropics out there or supplements out there that are going to boost testosterone levels, um, especially lately for whatever reason. From my experience, and I have been on a TRT cycle at least twice, there are very few supplements out there that will actually boost testosterone levels in a natural fashion. The only one I can think of which is pretty solid and does have some research behind it would be Tonkat Alley. Uh, the other few which I really like being um, Tribulus, I also like Terkestrone to some extent. They seem to act like more on mood more on sleep. Even ZMA really helps with sleep. But with Sustanch, I have not noticed anything whatsoever. I'm talking about when it comes to my lifts, uh, bench press, squat, deadlift, no change really from taking this specific supplement. I haven't really noticed deeper sleep, whereas some other testosterone boosters, they seem to have that nice benefit. This I really see as like more of a nootropic. But let's look into the next benefit, which would be may help promote physical strength and energy. Like I mentioned, really no results. But now that I'm kind of analyzing a little bit more, I have found that my cardio has been really good lately. That And that could just be because Sustanch really helps with willpower. Uh, willpower, discipline, I'm out of my head. And very often, like when you're doing aerobic exercise like running, it's just the fact that you're bored and your willpower diminishes. So I found that maybe my willpower is higher. Next, uh, may help support balanced oxidation levels. I, to some extent, believe this. This is a commonly reported phenomenon that after people use Sustanch for a couple of weeks, they just feel healthier and they keep it in their nootropic stack because of that specific reason. I feel healthier. I don't feel as much of a need to take stimulants um, like caffeine or modafinil or some of those stronger supplements out there, which they do make you alert. They do stimulate you, but in your heart of hearts, you know that you shouldn't be taking it because of the negative side effects and because they make you pretty much just not feel like yourself. So Sustanch, maybe something could be said about that. And then fourth, uh, may help promote cognitive function. And it's interesting in the way it does that, it is known to boost NGF and boost BDNF, brain-derived nootrophic factor, which is a very similar phenomenon that you would get when you ingest something like lion's mane or you ingest something like Nupept. Nupept, I really like because it's going to enhance learning and it's going to enhance productivity. I've talked about it in this video over here. So with Sustanch, I think it does help with productivity. I don't believe it really helps too much with learning um, or thinking. More just like execution, 
you can get a physical energy boost without having to take stimulants like you're accustomed to. So this can make for a really nice uh, replacement for caffeine. Let's say if you wanna take a month off of caffeine. With Sustanch, you can take it faster. That's something I like a lot about it. And I found that with Sustanch, it's a pretty good nootropic to combine with other nootropics. It makes for like a good foundational nootropic. It's pretty inexpensive. So I think it's something worth checking out. Again, don't have high expectations. Like it's gonna really boost testosterone levels. I have no idea why people are coming to this conclusion. I've looked at some of the research. Here's a really neat study that was done to determine how effective Sustanch was specifically at building muscle in mice that you can say had like muscle issues or like significant muscle atrophy to see how they could actually perform. And what the study did conclude with was that Sustanch Sustanch didn't necessarily help the mice to build muscle, but it helped them to increase their performance, to be as if they had maybe some extra lean mass on them. But there aren't any studies done as far as I'm concerned on um, improving testosterone levels on humans. And if you found studies on that, then please do share it with me in the comment section below because I, like many of you viewers, really do want to get to the bottom of this and find if it can be effective. Maybe it's just that it can be effective if it's taken in higher doses. Some people use Sustanch for doses of like one to two grams per day. I do not recommend you do that. I would recommend you stick to uh, whatever it says on the serving size of the bottle. I realize though, unfortunately, it's pretty difficult to be objective with something like health, but here is a really nice, study that I found specifically done to demonstrate the effects of Sustanch tubulosa on male reproductive function in diabetic rats. And what they actually found, and they found this and they concluded this pretty much by accident, but they concluded that it could be very good for diabetic mice. It did uh, somewhat help to stable insulin levels. And that's the same reason why humans take things like chromium or they take cinnamon or alpha lipoic acid. It's because if it does balance your blood sugar, then it can be said to be a little bit healthier and help you to avoid insulin resistance, also known as diabetes. But there simply is not enough research done on Sustanch to determine that this is a safe supplement to use. It, um, as a matter of fact, I did find one study where they showed that mice that were using Sustanch actually had a decreased volume of sperm, but uh, the studies done on other rats showed the complete opposite. So hopefully with some time, we will see more evidence. Right now, we have a lot of anecdotes. For example, if you go on the Nootropics Depot website, you can see some reviews. Very commonly, people are reporting that it does help with anxiety and does help to enhance sleep quality. Some people see the testosterone benefit, but I would make the argument that if these individuals actually had experienced the TRT, they would understand what it feels like to actually have a significant boost of testosterone. So who the supplement may be appropriate for is maybe somebody who's not responding well to some other uh, testosterone boosting supplements out there in the marketplace. Maybe with somebody with lower testosterone levels that does not want to get on TRT, it doesn't really hurt by trying this supplement at the end of the day. It's pretty affordable, but with respect to like how much it helps with productivity, it's really, really effective. More so, I'm gonna keep it in my nootropic stack uh, for that purpose only. Sustanch, it probably doesn't have any sort of issue with respect to like building up a tolerance and then feeling off when you miss a dose. It's not like that. It's something that you use sort of as desired. So for that reason, if you are going to go ahead and like wrap it cycle it, like take it in a fashion in which you use it on your weight training days, or maybe like five days on, two days off. I don't see any issue with that because you're going to still get the benefits. But the way that I'm personally going to be using it is doing something like taking eight weeks on, two weeks off, and then I will repeat that cycle and I can see myself doing that for the next 365 days anyway. And as far as like supplements I'm gonna be taking throughout the whole year, uh, be sure to watch this video over here. I've listed my top five nootropics. I really hope you did enjoy this information and you got value out of this content. If you want to chat with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can do so over on Patreon. And don't forget to check out the Discord chat where we're adding a lot of value and we're responding to people very quickly so you can solve any sort of time-sensitive issues. And I thank you for your interest in nootropics. I will look forward to seeing you next time.